Hi, welcome to what's happening here at the top five stories. At number five, the federal government says it's providing training for Almajiri on computer networking and other programs as part of its plan to attain 95% digital literacy by 2030. The National Information Technology Development Agency, Director General Kashufu Abdullahi, disclosed this on Sunday at the graduation ceremony of 50 children, including 10 Almajiri, at the Nguasa Global Tech Corp in Kanu. The NITDA boss added that one of the agency's mandates is to implement the policy under the National Digital Economy Policy for Digital Nigeria to achieve 95% digital literacy by 2030. At number four, the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation has said the fire outbreak at its Port Harcourt refining company on 1st January 2022 did not do any extensive damage to the facility, adding that the fire was contained in two hours. NNPC's Group General Manager, Group Public Affairs Division, Gaba Muhammad, disclosed this in a statement on Sunday in Abuja. According to him, the fire resulted from a spark while a 33,000-litre truck was discharging naphtha into a tank at the refinery. At number three, Premier Academy Lube Abuja has filed a suit against the leader of a civil society group Coalition of Gender-Based Violence Responders, Lemi Ugebe, at the Abuja High Court, asking for 500 billion naira as damages. In the suit filed by Premier Academy's legal team, the school is asking the court to bar the child and gender rights advocates from making further public statements with regards to the alleged rape and death of Karen Hapuch till further notice. The action of the school was a sequel to the speech Ugebe delivered at the Nigerian Bar Association Abuja Branch 2021 Law Week. At number two, the Acting Comptroller General of the Nigeria Immigration Service, Isa Idris, says the backlog and the scarcity of international passports will end by March. He made this known in a virtual media interaction. Idris stated that part of the measures of clearing the backlog and curbing scarcity was the introduction of the enhanced e-passports. He further said that the challenge of delayed passport production was due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the accompanying global lockdowns, including difficulty in assessing foreign exchange. At number one, human rights lawyer Balumi Olajengbasi, who is one of the counsels to Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Iboho Adeyemo, has officially withdrawn from representing the Yoruba Nation leader in any legal capacity. In a statement on Sunday by Ola Jimbasi said the decision was reached after careful consideration of certain factors. Ola Jimbasi's action comes barely 24 hours after his reaction to Banji Akintoye, who is the leader of the Ilana Omo Odua worldwide statement. Iboho's former counsel also stated that his reaction to Professor Banji Akintoye was not to undermine the Yoruba struggle, but is based on his personal convictions which he is entitled to. Always remember to wash your hands, wear your mask and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.